Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another great $2 deals video. So all of these deals are at least $2.99 or less. So let's jump right into these picks. First of all, we have Rogue Legacy. It is at its lowest price ever, 80% off, bringing it down to a scant $2.99. Of course, Rogue Legacy 2 has just been released within the last few months, a really amazing sequel. But if you haven't tried either out, this could be a good way to sort of dip your toes into Rogue Legacy. The unique twist with these roguelike action platformer games is that when you die, it is actually your ancestor who takes over for you in your next run. So the idea being that many years pass and your ancestor comes back to avenge you in this large castle that it has to scour through. Again, both the games are really great and I think that Rogue Legacy 2 is definitely an improvement in most ways over the first one, but I think this game still holds up and if you haven't tried either, this could be again a great way to see whether or not it's your type of game. Next, we have Atomic Run Gun Jump Gun. That is a mouthful of a title. It is currently 75% for only $1.99. This game used to go on sale very frequently. Uh, in this last year, though, it's only had two sales. It had one right around uh, near Black Friday and now again here in January. Has a really high Metacritic score of 78 and 79 for the user score. So it's very much uh, critically acclaimed. Well, this is a 2D action platformer, and in fact, it has a very simple two-button setup. You've got one button that allows you to fly, another will blast the obstacles into rubble, and it's all sort of an auto-runner style game. So if you like that sort of tough-as-nails action platformer, but mixed with a really simple control scheme, so real quick to get into, I think you could definitely find a lot of enjoyment in Atomic. Moving on, we have Ollie Ollie Switch Stance, which is currently 85% off, bringing it down to only $2.24. Again, this is another game that used to have very frequent sales, but for whatever reason, this year it's just had a sale uh, right now, and then it had another sale back in October. Very critically acclaimed, an 83 on Metacritic. If you're not familiar with the Ali Ali games, they are sort of side-scrolling platformer games mixed with skateboarding. So there is a skateboarding element with doing tricks and whatnot, but it's really kind of more like an auto-running platformer. Of course, there's the new Ali Ali World, which just came out not too long ago, but that game's pretty pricey. And again, just like Rogue Legacy, this is a great way for you to just sort of dip your toes into this particular game's world, see if you like it, and then before you bite off that much bigger expensive title. Never Alone Arctic Collection. It is at its lowest price ever. And in fact, this is its first ever sale, 80% off bringing it down to $2.99. This came out in February of 2022. Quickest and easiest way to describe Never Alone, I would suppose you would say it's sort of an atmospheric platformer along something of the lines of like Limbo, um, except it's all about this young Inuit girl and her pet making the, her, their way through this sort of um, Arctic tundra, uh, just sort of a, a cinematic platformer, if you will. It doesn't have the full on scary vibe like something like Limbo, but there is some sort of mystical elements going on. And if you like those type of games, I think you would really enjoy Never Alone. Iron Cryptical is currently 70% off for only $2.99. This is a great little couch co-op game, uh, up to four players. Basically, it's kind of like a modern day gauntlet. Uh, you're gonna choose your, your uh, class of hero, all kinds of weapons and upgrades and abilities, going through different dungeon arenas. Real simple, straightforward, but it's well reviewed and very well received. A 75 a Metacritic from the critics and a 75 from the user score. So, seems like it's been very well received. Senemora EX is matching its previous low, 93% off for $1.99. This game has gone on sale pretty darn often for the last year, but this is the first time it has matched this previous low, which happened last time at this year. So even though it is a frequently on sale item, it seems like it's only gonna save these rock bottom prices for maybe one time a year. If you're not familiar with Senemora, it is a shoot 'em up. Um, I'm not a big shoot 'em up fan, but I have actually played Sene Mora back on the Xbox 360, and I can tell you this is one of the most beautiful shoot 'em ups I have ever played. Actually, comes to us from Grasshopper uh, Games, which, uh, if you're not familiar, that is the studio that is involved with the No More Heroes franchise. This is very um, over the top, really great, really beautiful, definitely uh, a shoot 'em up for fans of the genre, and maybe even for people that aren't normally into it. Lost Castle is currently 80% off for only $1.99. This one, it came onto my radar during the last sale, which was actually just on Black Friday. And much to uh, my shame, I picked it up and I still haven't gotten to play it. But what blows my mind about this game 
is that there isn't a single outlet that reviewed this for the Switch version. You can find a couple of YouTube reviews, but there's no user reviews. Like I said, no official reviews. But if you go to the Steam version of this game, it has something like 17,000 very positive reviews, which for an indie game is kind of an insane number. So what is Lost Castle? It's basically a roguelike mixed with a sort of beat em up style game. Got a real simple sort of uh, flash animation style, art style, but I like what I'm seeing. Again, I picked it up right around the Black Friday sale. I haven't got a chance to try it yet, but I love roguelikes. I love beat em up, so it seems like a solid mix. And again, Steam version, extremely well reviewed. Extermination Force is again back to its matching its previous low, 83% off for only $1.99. What an amazing game. Uh, this game, uh, like I've talked about before, unfortunately had the circumstance where it was released really close to the same time as Cuphead, and it's kind of the same type of deal. It's a boss rush game, but you play as this little guy and you were taking on massive, massive mechs. So you have your gun in one hand to sort of whittle down their defenses, and you have a baseball bat once you get to their weak point to sort of give them a good smash. If you like a fairly tough as nails boss rush style game, you're really going to enjoy Extermination Force. We have The Last Campfire. It is currently 80% off for only $2.99. This game also went on sale just recently for Black Friday. Before that, not too many other sales. Has an 83 on Metacritic, a 77 from the user score. This actually comes to us from the same studio that brought us uh, No Man's Sky, which is, of course, Hello Games. They, uh, before they made No Man's Sky, Hello Games actually also made the Joe Danger game. So they're no stranger to these smaller indie titles. But The Last Campfire is an absolutely hauntingly beautiful a little puzzle platformer game really great story absolutely beautiful art style that holds up perfectly on the switch i think if you're looking for something that can uh, be a little relaxing playthrough for a weekend you would really really enjoy the last campfire Lightfall is matching its previous low for 80% off for only $2.99. This one goes on sale a couple times a year, a 72 on Metacritic. This one is a, a sort of unique little indie platformer where the, the gimmick or the ability of your main character is to create blocks in midair. Um, so you basically can jump and activate up to three times to create blocks that you're jumping to. So there's all kinds of unique puzzle platforming situations where you have to use that ability. I really enjoyed this game. Came out a long time ago, 2018. So this is an early eShop release. So a lot of people might've forgotten it by now, but if you uh, really enjoy unique puzzle platformer style games, you would definitely enjoy Lightfall. Next we have Guiana Sisters or Gianna Sisters. I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Ultimate Edition. Man, people with the long titles, am I right? Um, <laughs> if you just love gobbling up every 2D platformer available, uh, this is a really cool one. It's got a cool little mechanic where you can uh, uh, go between different light and sort of dark versions of worlds. Obviously a video game trope we've seen many times, but it's implemented really well in Gianna Sisters. So make sure if you like 2D platformers, you do check this one out. Broforce. Everybody loves Broforce. If you haven't tried it already, I guarantee it's going to be one of your future favorite games. 80% off for only $2.99. This is an absolutely balls to the walls, crazy 2D uh, action running gun game. Uh, the big gimmick here is that you are constantly getting new bros, and these bros are sort of these uh, copyright safe versions of famous movie characters. So you'll have like Rambo or Terminator or Walker, Texas Ranger. Or it just keeps fill filling you up with more and more uh, hilarious characters to play as. But it's all pixelated, but at the same time, it's super violent. Really humorous comes to us from Devolver Digital. So if you're familiar with Devolver Digital sort of sense of humor and the type of games they release, then you would definitely enjoy this one. And I believe it does actually have some free DLC coming up soon. So a good value all in all. It's a game that's still being supported. Definitely check out Broforce. Downwell currently is 33% off for only $2 even. Uh, this game goes on fa sale fairly often. It's critically acclaimed, has an 88 on Metacritic. It, it, it's not a game that is a rare sale, but it's one of my favorites, so I feel the need to always plug it. It's very simple. It's a pure roguelike. You are just making your way down this well as a character with jet boots that double as sort of like machine guns. So you're making your way down. Um, there's some basic upgrades along the way, but this is very much a true roguelike in the sense that there's barely any um, persistent upgrades. The only type of upgrade is you can uh, have a different sort of beginning uh, loadout that behaves just a little bit different from each other. So you can twist up the play style a little bit, but Downwell really is about getting good. It's about learning the mechanics of the game and mastering them. 
And lastly, we have Riptide GP Renegade. I talked about this not too long ago. It is matching its previous low, $2.99. That is 70% off. Very simply, uh, it's well reviewed. And if you miss Wave Race, like I do, I desperately miss Wave Race, especially the N64 one. This is about as good as you're going to get on the N64 right now. Uh, they, basically, it's like futuristic wave runners. Um, it's got all those kind of cool uh, water mechanics that you have to get used to to navigate better for the race. If you're a Wave Race fan, you'll enjoy this one. All right, so that's what I got for you for these $2 eShop deals. Make sure you check out my other eShop deal videos that are coming out this week. Hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you have great gaming. Bye-bye.